Blaze McDonald has been the head coach of the UMass Lowell men's ice hockey team for eight seasons, and winning has always been his goal. To do so this season, he's placing emphasis on practice and preparation. Yeah, we have a very uh, strict regiment and schedule. We as coaches map out the entire week. So Sunday after we've watched video of the th Friday Saturday games, uh, we kind of look at our strengths and weaknesses, deficiencies through, from the weekend and as uh, overall. And what do we need to build upon? And then how does that conform to our upcoming opponent? While practice always focuses on basic skills like stick handling, skating, shooting, defense, and special teams play, recently Coach McDonald has been demanding a higher level of physicality. This week, uh, based on how we played against Merrimack, we had two good wins, but we thought Merrimack was much more physical than we were. They finished all of their checks. We thought their, their effort level was higher than ours. So we really illustrated through a lot of video work this week at how many times we didn't finish our checks and how many times they did and how, how often we had, we had guys that were right in a position to finish a check and, and just turned away. This season, McDonald and his staff have been taping every team practice with hope that it will make their players more aggressive and hardworking. But now we've made it a point and we're going to illustrate that through our videotape of practice that, hey, this isn't hard enough. We need to finish that check. So it just really develops everybody. It develops your forwards to hit and turn pucks over. It develops your defensemen to be able to take on a hit and still make a play. And since I, since I was a kid growing up watching UMass Lowell hockey, Lowell has always had a very physical team and a very honest team, and we want to continue that tradition. There can never, ever be a question at the end of a game who is the hardest working team on the, the ice. It has to be Lowell. Despite high expectations and tiring practices, McDonald knows that hockey isn't the only thing on his players' minds. So it takes a lot of sacrifice, it takes a lot of discipline, uh, you know, and there's, there's, it takes, you have to take care of yourself. Uh, and it's, I give these guys a lot of credit because they don't live the typical life of a college student. They have to make a lot more sacrifices than other kids do. So we always tell our guys, if you just got in a fight with your girlfriend or upset with your mother or got an F on a paper or didn't do well on a test, the two hours you're here, you can't solve any of those problems. So focus on what's important now, and that's having a great hockey practice. And then when you leave here, then turn back in and see if you can you know, solve some of your problems. So that's a, you know, easier said than done, uh, but that's a challenge I think the players you know, probably constantly have to, to uh, work with. But with sacrifice comes the potential for great reward and something very special. You know, I tell the team oftentimes, you know, after we beat Boston College, for example, we beat them in overtime on Nesson. It was a great victory. I'm like, this feeling you have right now in the locker room, you can't go to Target or Walmart and buy this stuff. This is special, guys. Enjoy this. And, you know, those are the moments that you have to really enjoy and lean on as you move forward and, and you know, get that intrinsic motivation to, to, to get you through some tough times as well.